So today, this is World Food Day, and it has a special focus on, on climate change and the impact of climate change on agriculture and food. The main drivers for private um, agribusiness companies to invest in climate technologies, well, there are a number of them. The first one is really about competitiveness and the financial attractiveness of these types of investments. Companies can invest in measures such as waste heat recovery systems and automation and control. And these are investments that have a rate of return in the order of at least 25% and as much as 50%. So this helps to reduce their costs and make them competitive going forward. I think another one is the perception of consumers these days. Food consumers have become much more conscious of the environmental impact of what they, what they utilize, and they need to see that the agribusiness companies are producing uh, foodstuffs with a low carbon footprint. And the last one, which I think is very important, is to deal with the impact of climate change to make their activities more climate resilient. This is in particularly due to, let's say, the, the water stress in certain countries and changes in, in water um, use and consumption. The bank has deployed a number of financial instruments in the last number of years to help agribusiness supply chains become more efficient. Um, we make loans, we make equity investments um, in companies for this purpose. We've invested about one and a half billion euros in this area in the last number of years. We work at the EBRD very closely with FAO because they bring a very strong policy dimension to our work. They provide the institutional framework and the deep level of technical knowledge in this area that really informs the bank's work and helps us determine the strategic direction of our investments in sustainability and food supply chains going forward.